I've had the benefit of working in some very gorgeous places and very difficult, harsh environments. That's really shaped my career in making me a better engineer and better problem solver. Most of the communities, I think it's over 80% of the communities in Alaska aren't connected to the rest of the world by roads. So the way to get in and out is by aviation. So it's people getting their medication, their mail, groceries, um, and more importantly, if there's a medical emergency, that's how they're going to get to typically the nearest clinic. We can't shut their runways down to, to rebuild the airports. They don't have a parallel taxiway. You need to keep the airports operational. So what we end up doing is we do a, a half-width construction on their runways. So we'll shut down half the runway, work on that at nights, and then uh, allow landings on the other side that's not being worked on. This half-width construction method is, is pretty unique only to Alaska. It's not something that we're allowed to do by current FAA rules in the lower 48. Um, and it's primarily because we have to maintain service to these communities. I measure project success on the impact to the community. People being able to get in and out of their community uh, and, and not be impacted by our work, but still being able to utilize their facility, that's, that's a huge success.